Hello everybody, this is Ryan. Welcome to the live stream tonight for the production of Tales of Ahala Season 3. Tales of Ahala being a stop-motion HeroScape adventure. HeroScape is a board game discontinued with miniatures and terrain, as you can see in front of you here in this with this photo. And uh, just here, I'm Ryan, the producer, animator, creator of this show. If you want to see it on YouTube, we have Season 1, Season 2 on YouTube. Just go to YouTube, type in the search bar, Tales of Valhalla. Valhalla being the Norse mythology heaven. Is how it's spelt. So, and uh, check us out. Like, share, subscribe, because we've got season one and season two on there. Currently working on season three, wrapping up animating season three. We're on to the just the last little bit of, of scenes and sets to do this. Should be done in a matter of just a, like four to like six to four weeks. I'm hoping. Should be really close to being done though. And so my usual Wednesday nights I'm showing like film dailies or some type of update. Uh, not much actually tonight. This is actually probably going to be a short live stream because I only have a couple pictures to show an update on how things are going and but a 10 minute video. I do have a 10 minute video to show because I was doing some more behind the scenes stuff so I'm going to show you guys that exclusive. Um, I'll be uploading that on Tales of Valhalla sometime the Tales of Hell YouTube page sometime in the future, but uh, show it to you exclusive tonight, a little bit behind the scenes of uh, what's been happening lately, and uh, just some of the more more of the animation process because I'm really having fun with my vlogging camera that I got. Anyway, so before we start talking about what is here in the screen, I just wanted to update, uh, give a little bit of update. I did have a little bit of a pause in doing anything as far as production in the last few days because I had a, I'd say a minor medical emergency. What it was, I had to do a blood transfusion and that kind of took like a day and a half to do. And so, I mean, I, I, I'm fine. I just, it was my, my hemoglobin levels, iron levels that were just low. Just, they dipped just a little too low, so my doctor thought it'd be a good idea to get a blood transfusion. So I did it, done, and uh, hopefully start feeling better uh, with that um, a little bit. At very least, get my blood levels, you know, to a much better range. So, so a little bit of delay, a little bit of pause, um, but this is what I'm currently working on. Uh, in spite of that, as you can see here, um, I'm working on the next and set I'm going to be animating and it's another Thalink Tundra um, and but what I'm working on is this is only like halfway completed and I am recording the building process of this so I will show that when it's when it's done as well um, but there is a, a lot of there's quite a fit, a bit of animation shots to do with this set so I don't know if I'll show all of that but uh, we'll show some of it and we'll have dailies when I start animating that. Hopefully it'll be next week that I'll show the animation dailies for these. And so um, it's kind of like to where uh, we're on like the shores of the Thaling Tundra leading out to like ocean and icebergs and stuff. At least that's the feeling that I kind of want to get within the set. And then there's going to be like action and stuff happening. We're going to have miniatures like up here on this ledge, as well as down below here. So it's it's going to be quite a complicated set. And you can see there's a little bit of close up of kind of just what's happening. I have like bits of ice and then water. So yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. And it's hard to tell, but this is like higher up from here. So this is a ledge and this is down below. And so we'll get more into that probably next week, showing uh, what this set's all about. But, and that's pretty much it. There you go, L live stream done for tonight, all three minutes of it. 
But no, I do actually have a, like a 10 minute video to show. And so I'm going to show that and it just shows more behind the scenes uh, stuff, a little bit having to do with high ground tiles and the like. So let's play that right now and I will see you guys on the flip side. Okay, hello everybody, Ryan, Tales of a Hala. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of vlogging style here just to show you a little bit of behind the scenes techniques that we do uh, working on the animation of Tales of Valhalla Season 3. You can see right here I have uh, three sets that I'm animating with. These two, this one, and this one. I've already done my animations and I'm working currently on this set. Um, I did some wide shots with the viewfinder of the camera going through this angle, but I want to do some close-ups of the miniatures. And so how do, we, how do I get close in to where they're standing right there? Well, I simply just go like that. And take, take off, this is, this is one great thing about uh, high ground tiles and their, and these are, these are, these are like 3D printable like stone walls, but for me they're snow walls since I used white filament instead of like gray or stone like filament. And so now I can bring in the uh, camera lens close close up to these uh, miniatures and get good close ups of them and their uh, little bit of talking. And like in comparison, see here's here's a snow wall of just HeroScape tiles. And you can see how much harder it would be just to take all those down because they're just they're stacked up. But. Uh, but high ground tiles, 3D printed stuff, easier to take down, easier to put back up. And and so that way, if I need to do other wide shots again with that back up, just easily put it back up and then... So they're very doable, a lot better to uh, animate with. Um, and they just look cool too. So I'm going to park this... Yeah, we're, yeah. And, the, and, and there's Jose, my son. Say hi. Hi. We're we're discussing behind the scenes, behind the scenes things. Yeah. He's saying something important. I just know it. So I'm gonna park this camera on top of here and show you. Just I mean this this is some <clears throat> kind of boring animations, but we'll still. Uh, do like a time lapse of me animating through this and so you guys can get a look at uh, how I do this. So let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Ryan here again. I'm just going to give a little bit of a commentary on some of these shots, these fast paced shots that we're doing. Because I feel like I need to look, just give a little bit of input in what's going on in the process of making these shots. So I might interject every once in a while, but until then, enjoy the music. point out now these shots that I'm currently doing they are for the most part close-ups because I've already did the wide shots so wide shots are completed they look good so I just do some close-ups just to fill in any gaps that might happen in the editing process so I might use these close-ups I might not it just uh, depends on how I edit And I want to make one more point too. You can see I'm adjusting the uh, terrain set as well as my camera. And I'm actually, uh, this is going by very quickly, but the pro what I'm going through is I'm, I'm going through like the wide shot that I did before 
to match up the close-ups with the wide shot as much as possible, keep the continuity where they're supposed to stand and, and such and that. So I prepare for that before doing the actual animation. So you see that a little bit in these in these shots, not just this one, but the, some of the ones before I was doing a little bit of pre preparation as well. Okay, so we're finished animating this. The shots should look good, so we are done with all these shots. Now we've just got to tear down all these uh, terrain sets and build up more terrain sets to animate with. So we'll get started with that next. And this is a process we usually do not see. You guys usually do not see just me tearing down the sets. You see me, you see me build up sets uh, sometimes, but it's rare that you see me actually tear down the sets. and. What it takes very time consuming but it's it's necessary in the process and and i mean it takes time to get all the pieces off the terrains get them in correct piles in preparation for the uh, next scene which i'm going to do the next terrain set i'm going to do which is a big one it's 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 a it's going to take up nearly the whole table And so I'm, I'm tearing everything down and getting everything prepared because I, I don't have anything drawn up for this terrain set like I usually do. I usually do things through virtual escape, build, build everything through uh, virtual escape. But I just had an idea in mind for this terrain set, so I'm just going basically on my, in my head, which usually it, it takes longer doing that. But that's what I'm doing for this one. Now this is very important. You see this piece I'm holding up. It's a High Ground Tiles uh, HeroScape connector piece. This allows me to connect the high ground tiles with the hero escape tiles to make everything uh, as f flesh in as possible uh, together when building the set. Because wh what I'm attempting here is building like surrounding ice or ice walls surrounding a piece of castle. A castle is very important in uh, the, the Thalink Tundra set because I have lots of scenes that have pieces of castle everywhere. I'm trying to create a uh, an ambience of this was a castle that just basically got destroyed while landing in this in this area. This this castle is not native to uh, Thalink Tundra. That's a, that's a little bit of a spoiler, but. It, it is what it is. I mean, this is a huge uh, castle network and system that just basically got uh, decimated, and so just pieces of it all over uh, this area where our heroes and enemies are are traveling through. And so, when what I'm doing here is I'm creating like a little bit of a valley where our heroes are going to run into a Maro army, basically. And so the Mara army is going to be down in this valley. Our heroes are going to be up on that slope. And they're just going to be a big surprise when they run into them and then they have to turn around and run away. So I'm just creating, again, high ground tiles, 3D printed uh, scatter terrain pieces like these trees. So I'm just having tree stumps uh, trees falling just to create a little bit of kind of damage there and you saw there for an instant there was a piece of uh, terrain tile that broke and I also broke another one on the bottom of that during this build process but still animated anyway everything's still held together and there you see there's the Mara army there's our heroes on top and these are the shots that I took to it took a few days to build this terrain set 
and I only did four shots. And this shot is the only one that came out bad out of the four. It's just a little bumpy. Still can probably use it, but it is, you can see, just a, just a little bit of camera bump there. Overall, nice little view and uh, for the three seconds that this train set will be will be in uh, season three and you get to see the whole scope of the Mara army so that was the video so what did you guys think of that I decided to throw a little bit of commentary into the uh, the building um, and animating uh, speed you know speed run uh, videos so I hope that that was a little bit insightful. I might do more of those kind of things in the future if I feel like, you know, talking about what's going on uh, when I'm animating the scenes in the set. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the live stream for tonight. So all about 20 minutes worth of it or less. And so I'll just finish this like I always finish my live streams by saying for those of you who are watching this on the Tales of Valhalla YouTube page, uh, it is, this is a very edited down version, probably only like a minute or two of what is like 20 some minutes of just basically updating on what's going on, showing a video that you can already see on the Tales of Battle YouTube page. And I'll put a link in the description or something on the screen here for that video as well. And you can see the full amount of this live stream on our Conductor Productions YouTube page, which should be on the screen or in the link in the description below as well and with that thank you guys for watching this Wednesday night um, and we're just we're continuing going and we're gonna be wrapping this animation up really really soon and then get to the nitty-gritty of video editing fun 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 and so yeah look forward to that and uh, We'll just continue with this process, and I'll let you guys know what's happening as the weeks continue. So with that, I'm Ryan. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you guys next week. Later. Later, later, later. Bye.